Hi Sabri, what do you recommend that we do with email list hygiene? Do you recommend deleting unsubscribers completely from Infusionsoft or leave them on? I was thinking deleting off Infusionsoft and then putting them into an audience on Facebook and doing um, a small win back campaign of serving them a magic lantern type quality content with a CTA straight to a strategy call. Would appreciate your thoughts. So what I recommend, don't delete those, David. Um, even that they have unscri unsubscribed, you can like, you know, you want to own them, right? You want to have them. I know that you'll be paying a little bit extra to have those emails from Infusionsoft, but it's it's really a tiny amount in the scheme of things. But yeah, you can always use them to target people um, on Facebook. And then depending if, you know, like one thing that I do recommend that you're doing, when you, uh, if you delete them from Infusionsoft, you're deleting the contact, right? And when you delete the contact, you know, m you should on a lot of those contacts have their mobile phone number and I'm going to be suggesting you at least once a quarter to be sending out an, a text message broadcast. So don't delete them, um, leave them in Infusionsoft. You definitely want to get um, like a re-engagement sequence set up. Um, so if, say for instance, if someone hasn't opened any of your emails for two or three months, you want to send them like a, a, a re-engagement sequence. It says like, yo, I noticed that you haven't been opening up my emails. Um, like I'm going to delete you and murder your email address unless you click on this link. Um, and that just re-opt opts them in because that's going to really affect the the deliverability and the inboxing. You need to keep that hygiene nice and clean. Um, <clears throat> then in terms of what, what the other question here? Yeah, definitely like in that re-engagement sequence, like if they opt back in, that's when you want to hit them with that magic lantern technique and let, like give them that shot of dopamine and let them know why they're on this list in the first place with all the CTAs in them, definitely to book a strategy call. Yep, so that's definitely the play. That's definitely the way that I would go down. Um, and if you have phone numbers on those contacts as well, um, you know, sending an a text message it's just like a little bee sting like you just can't ignore it it's like a little red dot on your phone um it's you know the open rates on those things are just insane um and i would recommend that just throwing that in the mix every once in a while there's a lot of providers that can do that you can get ones that integrate straight into infusionsoft um i use one called burst sms here in australia um but there's lots of them so that's something that i would recommend and definitely along those same lines as as, as what you've got hey guys if you enjoyed this video make sure that you click the like button and subscribe. We're dropping a video on YouTube every other day. And if you've got any questions about any of the content that I covered in this video, just basically leave a comment with hashtag HeySubri in the comment section. And every week we're also trying to go through all those questions and get them answered. So go ahead, click subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.